So I have this app on my phone, which is used for installing apps. So it is basically like the Google Play Store. It came pre-installed on the phone. So even if I try to uninstall it, I'll not be able to. So if I head over to app info, you can see I can only for stop it or just clear the data. There is no way for me to uninstall this because it came pre-installed on my phone. There are other apps like this that I wish I could get rid of, but um, because they came pre-installed, um, it's a bit difficult. But in this video, I'll be showing you how to do this on your phone. You're going to need your phone and your computer to do this. There are other ways to do it, but for this video, I'll be using the PC and phone method to do it. I'll make other videos showing you how to do it without needing your PC. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is to head over to the Google Play Store to download this app called so this is the app shizuku i'll tap install and uh, i'll wait for it to get installed all right so it is done installing i'm not going to open it yet i'm going to look for another app called kanta so this is the app over here you can see it says kanta uninstall any app without the root with this app you can see a list of all the apps on your device and you can uninstall them if you want so i'm going to leave a link to the app so that you can easily download it. So both of the apps have now been installed. You can see this is the Shizuku app and this is the Kanta app. So we're going to start with the Shizuku app. I'll tap on it to open it. And you can see this is what it looks like. So to run the app, there are different ways to run the app, but the method I'll be showing you in this video is using your computer. So what I'll do now is to head over to my phone settings. What I want to do is to enable developer options. So for my device, this is the Redmi Note 13. So for me, I'll do it this way. Now it says you are now a developer. I'll head to additional settings. And then I'll scroll down to developer options. So all I need to do is to enable US debugging. I'll tap here and wait for a few seconds. If you're using a Redmi phone or a Xiaomi phone, you need to also enable USB debugging security settings and just keep tapping next until you get to this point that says accept. All right, so after enabling both of them, the next thing you want to do is to go back to Shizuku. You can tap on this over here that says um, read the help. If you tap it, it's going to open your browser and show you all the steps that you need to take. What I'm going to do now is open this page on my PC. So I have the page opened on my PC, as you can see. Uh, I'll be using the start by connecting to a computer option. And this is it over here. So the first thing to do is to download something called the SDK platform tools. So if you're using a Windows computer, you click Windows. If you're using a Linux or a Mac, you click either of these. So I'll click this one since I'm using a Windows computer. And it's going to download this. So. So after it is done downloading, all I need to do is just extract. After extracting, I can double click the folder that has been created. And this is the folder and these are all the files in the folder. But what you want to do next is come up here to the address bar. You click here and then you type CMD on your keyboard. You press enter. Next, you connect your phone to your computer by using a USB cable. I have a USB Type-C cable here. So after connecting your phone to the PC, you come back to the website and just scroll down until you get to this section that says command for Shizuku. So you click on the arrow and then you copy all of this text. Then you come back to the CMD prompt and paste it here. Press enter. On your phone you tap ok so it didn't work because i was not fast enough i did not press ok fast enough so i'm going to do it again okay i think it has worked <laughs> i'm not really sure it doesn't say anything like successful yet but uh it says starting server so let's see if it is now working oh okay over here it says shizuku is running so yeah if you tap ok just paste the code again in the command prompt and Think you should be fine so after doing this what you want to do next is open this app it's going to say loading and then you can start to search for the apps you wish to uninstall now just give it a while for it to load because it's checking to see 
the apps that are safe to uninstall and the ones that may not be safe. And it's also going to tell you the ones that are in, you shouldn't even attempt uninstalling them because they may ruin your phone. So for now, you can disconnect your USB cable. After opening the app, just head back to Shizuku. Tap this second option that says tap to manage authorized apps. And you should see Kanta over here. So you tap it to enable it. Head back to the app. I don't know if my internet is having issues, but for some reason the app is not loading the badges. The badges are just to let you know if, if you can safely uninstall apps or not. All these options here will be displayed on each of the apps. But not to worry, the app I want to uninstall is called Get Apps. Okay, so this is it over here. All I have to do is just click here and then I'll tap on this delete button down here. Then I'll tap OK. So after that, the app will be uninstalled. If I go back home, you see now that the app is no longer here and it's not even going to be on my list of apps. If you ever wish to reinstall any of the apps that you uninstalled, after opening the Kanta app, you can tap here and you get to see the list of apps you have uninstalled. I'm not sure why these two are here because I don't remember uninstalling them. I feel like the app is somewhat buggy right now, so they shouldn't be there. Anyway, so this is the app that I just uninstalled and if I want it back, all I have to do is just tap the app to select it. And then I'll tap on this icon down here and the app is going to get reinstalled to the device. But I don't need it, so I'm going to uninstall it. So you can do this with apps like Chrome. You can see I have the Chrome browser. If I try to uninstall it, I will not be able to. You can only disable the Chrome browser if you want. But uh, with the Kanta app and Shizuku, you can search for Chrome. And when you find it, you tap here. And you tap this red button down here to uninstall it. And Chrome will be uninstalled. You can see it just got deleted. So if I want it back, I'll come here and then I'll install it again and it should be back. So this is it. And this time if I open it, it's going to be like a brand new Chrome browser. I've been using Chrome browser, but because I uninstalled it and reinstalled, you can see now it is starting the whole setup process again. So I'm going to do that later. So I hope this video was helpful. Please, if it was, give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this. We'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye-bye.